All right, fellas, we're back with the grand final in the Arcana Heroes Cup playoffs, and we have SK Gaming versus Alternate Duke in it out. Um, I don't have the first map yet, but we do have the draft ready. So, um, greeting our Polish friends, Dobry Vishor. I don't know if I got that correct, but Dobry Vishor. <laughs> um, <laughs> now you guys can flame me for trying, but okay. Uh, let's get started with the draft. They actually moved along pretty quickly here. So we not only have the first bands, which were Apathur on Team Alternate's side and Tychus on SK Gaming's part, but also the first picks, which were Stitches by Alternate and Arphis and Anubarak by SK. And we have Ufer and Falstad on Alternate's part, and Valor by SK. Next ban out of Alternate was Tassada, and Tyrael ban by SK. Okay. I need sub emotes. Uh, yeah, I'm looking looking into making some eventually. If there's interest in subbing, then I'll I'll go ahead and make some sub emotes. Uh, so far, no one's asked. So um, we have the next pickup, Nova. Okay, since Ufer is gone for SK, they'll probably go for Brightwing a little later on. And not quite straight away. I think I got it right. <laughs> not bad. Uh, the match, match starts uh, right after the draft. Um, Ia Shack. Uh, the bit rate is three and a half thousand kilobytes per second. Get that right. But I'm also doing a clean feed for the French stream, so might get a little choppy uh, during the fights, hopefully. I mean, it's, it's been alright, but it's kind of hampering my camera control. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. Dobri dobri. <laughs> okay, we have Rega for SK Gaming. So not going for Brightwing, and I know the map now. Haunted Mines. Uh, funny enough. Okay, on Haunted Mines it's actually kind of interesting that Alternate banned Abathur, because he's not that worthwhile on Haunted Mines, since it's one of those maps that's over so quickly, he never really um, gets as strong and you never really you can never really play out his strength. Alright, okay. Um Let's have a look. What could alternate pick here? Um, they need another warrior. Arthas is already gone. They can't pick Tyrael. What? Are you kidding me? Alternate wants to try the same thing that uh, PPP has failed with. Triple Assassin. Um, the wombo combo potential is definitely there. Um, Ufer. If, I mean, but this composition gets really strong once Ufer has Divine Hurricane. If you can survive that long, this is like the Wombo combo ultimate. But before that, you have to rely on his level 10 stun, which is okay, but not quite as massive. And then you need Illidan to really hunt down your opponents. But I guess, I mean, um, early on with with a, si a simple stun and then you have Fals that uh, to take him out and Nova to follow it up. It's still alright, I mean, but it, it can just falter so quickly. SK Gaming on the other hand, um, with Rega, Anubarak and Arthas, and now, ooh, Zagara as the final pick. Um, that's a little bit on, um, yeah, on the CC control side. Um, they will be able to stay alive for so long. Wouldn't be surprised to see Ancestral Healing on Rhaegar. Even though it doesn't give you as much control in the fights, it gives you that really, really good sustain. And we saw how well they played in the last game. Is the music supposed to be on? Okay. Polska jest super. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> nice try, Kytrus. <laughs> I like that. I don't know, Turris. Um, that's the feedback I got from the pro teams. Uh, maybe he's a little bit different on on uh, solo queue. But um, the pro team said that he's pretty weak on, on the mines. Oh wait, I gotta fix the scoreboard. We are back to 0-0 zero, zero, and alternate is playing, not PvP. So let's get them in here. Okay. And we're loading into the map already. This is something about my mom, so I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Let's get started with the game though. Because we have loaded into the map and we are on Haunted Mines. And on the left side, as the blue team, we have Team SK Gaming. And they have Linked on Rhaegar, BZ on Vala. Let me just fix this overlay. Uh, no, wait, why is it not working? No, there we go. Um, Descape on Arthas and BKB is playing in Uberak. Zarmony on Zagara. Falset going straight for the Tower Steel here on Alternate's side. And he's played by Guccio. Then we have Krolu on Uther. We have Mopsio playing Stitches. Vassal on Illidan. And Gluehammer is playing Nova. And they want to go for the team gank. But same things happening, of course, uh, by SK. This is something you see early on on Haunted Mines quite a few times. And I think Blue Hammer gave away the position here. Even though she is cloaked, um, good players will spot her. Yeah, Alternate will go for the stun ultimate out of Illidan. Um, to follow up later on. Okay, we have laning phase now, so Descape is going for bot lane, but he needs to watch out. We have four heroes on alternate side here to go for the gank. Meanwhile, SK also going for Guccio in top lane, but he's playing this incredibly safe. And now Mopsio and Vassal coming in, but they don't have that massive stun, but there comes the hook on Rhaegar. He does get away though, and Vassal tries to pop out of it. So, I mean, early on, I gotta give it to SK, they um, do have the better stun here, so uh, we'll have a nicer ability to go for uh, go for early ganks if they try it. Um, Dark Sense, they use the ESL draft uh, system, so two bans, one ban early on, one ban later in the draft. The mines are open, and... Skulls will spawn soon. Oh, alternate. Looking for the surprise attack, but this uh, up. the camp has been taken already. Now Mopsy moving in. BKB already taking a lot of damage. Oh, Descape caught out of position, but he got a good slow off. And Uther falls, but Arthur's also taken out. BKB pretty low, still stunned, and he's taken out. There comes the hook on BZ, taking a lot of damage, and he's being focused out by Guccio. And looks like Vassal might be able to get away. There comes the block by Mopsio. Link is already pretty low. They need to watch out, though. They can't lose anymore. And Rhaegar does fall. Zarmini trapped here as well, but might be able to get away. Nope, not really. Not with the hook coming in on Mopsio. And he has a follow-up hook if need be. But do take him out as well. I got it right now. All the team names should be fine. And, ooh, Gluehammer spotting out that SK went down on the south end of the mine. Guccio needs to watch out. Descape is in position. There comes the dash. He does get away. Ah, taking quite a bit of damage. Remainder of SK is now also in the mines and they split up. We have Nova in the back and Rhaegar is caught out of position. Maybe they can get him. Oh yeah, Illidan is on top of him. Dishing out the damage. Kolu comes in, there's the stun and the follow up and the kill. Nope. Yes, there it is. Nubarak got the stun in before, but oh, Mopsio missing his hook there. Could have gotten busy. And there's the slow on Blue Hammer. He's taken a lot of damage and is taken out. BZ also quite low, but he does get away. They want to get the kill though, but he can be safe. Gets, gets safely behind the lines, but Uther is taken out on uh, alternate side. And Vassal is in trouble. 
It might be another it might be another stunning coming out of BKB, but no mobs you're trying to lure him back, and that worked out quite well for them. And it looks like Vassal will be able to stay alive and grab a couple more coins. So far, 47 coins grabbed by Alternate. And looks like they want to go for a kill here up in top lane. Link is in trouble, but he does save himself behind the gates. And Alternate is back in the mines. They want to follow this up. They want to get a really strong early golem. Um, we'll get about 70 something coins. 80 something coins uh, if they play their cards right. Illidan has the fight with Zagara down here. But she can, yeah, she can stand her ground and even with 100 kills do some serious damage up on Vassal. But he will re ally and will stay safe. But they got 77, uh, 77 skulls. Not bad for alternate. It's a really strong early gun. Oh, Mopsio! Missing link there. And they will leave the mines now. Um, most of the camps have been grabbed on SK's part. There's still the neutral knights in the middle that could be grabbed here for either team and the giants, of course, um, on alternate's part. It looks like Guccio and Vassal will go for that. And now it all comes down to will they work with their own golem or defend the opponent. And I gotta say, I mean, alternate definitely gonna go with their own golem. Um, the opposing golem not really all that strong, only 23 skulls, that not, that's nothing you need to worry all that much about. But maybe they can surprise... nope, not really. No hook coming in yet, there's a slam, keeping Link back. Good slow on Mopsio and Link wants to go for the body block but does get taken out. Mopsio does fall, Arf is doing a good job on that and Zarmini is maybe taken out by Vassal, nope. But Vassal also in trouble, he needs to get out of that fight. There comes the slow on Guccio, keeping him back. Uh, BZ is on the run, there comes the dash out of Guccio, and maybe can they get BZ? Nope, she dashes away, and Blue Hammer just dropping the hologram there. Still a really good, solid team fight out of Alternate. Only losing stitches in that fight, and now they can return back to the spot lane, just pile on the damage, and maybe even take out this fort. So far, Alternate is doing a pretty good job winning the team fights. Um, they will probably get this fort. Um, still half health on the boss. And so far, not a good initiation out of BKB. Oh, missing the stun. Nope, not quite. Gucci got hit there. Maybe we'll see a nice grasp by, by Mopsio. No, no hooks yet. The boss is still alive and still dishing up the damage. There comes the move in by Vassal, going straight for BKB. He's taken a lot of damage, but he does deep dive out of it. Deathscape caught in the middle there, really being sandwiched by the entire team of Alternate. And they kept everyone alive, even grabbing Zarmini. Vassal needs to watch out, he's incredibly low, and he gets out of the fight, and they do get Zagara. Wow, Alternate really ruling this game right now, even though we said that they didn't have a good composition, but this looks pretty good so far. And they will go for the knights in the middle. Neutral knights will be grabbed here for alternate. Afterwards, uh, they might even go and uh, uh, go ahead and help out the top lane. But first, uh, healing up has to be done. Uh, SK is still in trouble. It's a lot of a lot of knights coming in. And they have three heroes in position, but that does give alternate a little bit of a vantage point. So they want to wait and maybe grab someone like Deathscape. There's the Gorge. They do have their level 10s available. And, ooh, Shock and Awe coming in as well. Deathscape does go down. BKB took a lot of damage in that Shock and Awe. But they will be safe behind the gates for now at least. It's gonna fall pretty soon here. And one tower out of ammo, the other almost gone. So this is gonna be an onslaught. Alternate will pile on here. And this fort is in trouble as well. Four heroes only available right there for SK. But Alternate is playing it safe for now. And they will go back. Um, the mines should be opening here uh, pretty soon. Yep, there comes the timer. 30 seconds on the mines. Let's check the timers on the camps. They will go for the grab on the watchtower. And maybe get another kill in. Or at least surprise SK down in the mines. 
Yep, they're waiting here, but look at that. SK already in the concave. They want to wait there. Oh, Vesta goes down, but immediately goes back up. And they're going to choose the other entrance, of course, um, being a lot safer. Maybe they can keep SK on the top top entrance for a little while. Oh, that's actually pretty convenient. It's going to kill the Siege Shines before they do too much damage. Nope, you should take that last one out. Oh, it's going to do some damage. They, that's a little bit of an oversight for them. Here comes the stun out of, uh, out of a new Good stun and an amazing Maw on almost half the team here. Oh my gosh. That Maw really killed Alternate in this fight. And Stitch is so close to go down. Oh, he gets busy And BZ does go down. But Stitch is also falling here. Only Illidan, uh, Luther and Faust are still alive. Vassal pretty low. He will go down. And there comes the final blow. Oh, Guccio really making good work here with his shock and off. He might even get Deathscape with Krolu's help. Oh, Krolu trying to save everyone here. Link taking a lot of damage. Guccio dashes away and he can save this. There's the stun and they will go for Linked. Wow, what an amazing team fight. Both of these teams, I mean, initially Zagara with the Maw just controlling the team fight, but oh, Guccio just controlling everything uh, with the shock and awe, taking out. Uh, taking out the final blow there on uh, uh, on Zagara, I think. Um, so uh, they managed to turn this team fight around, and um, yeah, 16 kills versus seven kills. That's not bad whatsoever. And they're gonna grab a lot of skulls here in the mines. Already have 28 in the bank. Uh, will be a couple more, but next team fight's coming in. Busy caught completely out of position. They're gonna take that easy grab right, right there as well, and maybe a hook. Nope. Zagara does get away for now. And on top we have Nova chasing BKB, but that's not gonna work here. And there's the final kill on Zagara. Of course, Krolu came in for the stun and Vassal did the follow up there. So now they can just easily go for the Golem, uh, grab the remaining uh, remaining skulls. It's not gonna be as, um, as strong of a Golem as last game, so they might even opt to um, go for the defense this time around. But it all depends. I mean, right now Zagara is still down. It's gonna be a little while until the uh, Golem gets back up. So let's have a look at the talents while we do have a little bit of downtime. We have Locust Swarm on Anubrak, Army of the Dead on Arthas, Devouring Maw on Rhaegar, Valor took, um, Rhaegar took uh, Ancestral Healing, and Reign of Vengeance on Valor. Metamorphosis on Illidan, Gorge on Stitches, Divine Storm on Ufer, Precision Strike on Nova, and Shock and Awe on Felset, of course. And yeah, there's the onslaught. The fort went down. Ooh, nice hook again on Deathscape. There comes the Gorge follow up. A good stun out of BKB. Might have saved Deathscape's life. He does get away. There's the Maw. And he gets two players in there. Krolu and Mopsio in trouble. And Nubarak does go down though. And Vessel's on the hunt. BZ's pretty low, but Illidan is taken out before BZ can fall. And now Alternate needs to make a move here. They need to get Deathscape. And ah, nice stun, nice slow on Guccio, but nice good heal out of Krolu. Can keep Gucci alive for a little bit longer. So far, only one player down on alternate side. They did take out Anubarak and Vala, and now Zagara even. Oh, Link is in trouble. He does fall. Deathscape also pretty low. They're not gonna get the final kill on him, but they will get this bottom lane. They will go for the keep as well, and still 20 seconds on Rega and Zagara. It's a long time. They can make something happen here. Maybe even get one more hero killed and then go straight for the core. But uh, so far, Alternate has played this pretty safe, so I don't think they're gonna go for the kill right away. Yep, instead they're gonna grab all the camps that are available. Uh, Illigan working away at the easy camp here on their side. Um, middle camp being taken by Mopsio and Guccio. And they might even go for the steal on the easy camp on SK's side, just to top it off. But those knights, really important right there. They're gonna go for the boss now, stop that boss. Vassal is already in position, he's gonna take it out in no time. Uh, there's still the minions to deal with, since the towers are out of ammo right there. But alternate is in position, they will take those minions up before um, the keep will take any damage. And in the meantime, yeah, knights wailing away here. Top fort hasn't taken any damage, but all the defenses are gone. No gates anymore, no towers, nothing. Perhaps one day I shall tell it to you. 
Luckily they did get their own seed shines, so those have to be dealt with by alternate. Already getting in position and their level had they got their level 16 talents. Let's check those out. Um, by the way, we do have rewind on Nova and Felstad. And then the slam build on Stitches, Stone Skin on Illidan, and Gathering Radiance on Uther. Double fake on Nova. Okay, so a little bit of a sustainy uh, individual builds here on Alternate's side. Um, just trying to uh, somehow balance out their three assassin combination. And whoa, Mopsio might be in trouble. Nope, he sees what's up. And there comes the slam. Krolu jumps right in there and gets a nice stun of Deathcape. Incredibly low, and he's taken out BKB though. He's also pretty low. The Maw comes in, helps out, but only getting two heroes. And they're back in the fight. Zarmini taken out, and yeah, BZ and Linked on the run. Looks like they can stay safe behind their fort. But that was an incredible team fight. 3 for 0 for alternate and they really rule this combination. This team composition is really what they're made of. And there we go. Um, no defense on this fort. They will take it out in no time. Giving that a little bit more of a lead here. 3 level advantage already for alternate. And the mines will open in a couple of seconds so... Um, I don't think there's any way that SK can go down in the mines right now. They might be able to grab a couple of skulls. Um, if they stay south, but they really need to watch out. And they also have these catapults to deal with. So um, that's something they need to uh, watch out for as well. Since one of the keeps is already gone. And look at that, alternate just waiting for them. They will send one player down just to check. And then immediately go back up. But I mean, so much stun a possibility. Um, Rolu is already there. And there we go, they're going back out. There comes the ultimate out of... Out of Prolu and they take out Nubarak and Valor right away. Deathscape in trouble right there. And Sesto Cleaning does come in. Body blocking Deathscape and he... Oh, nice body block but good save. Keeping him alive a little bit longer with the healing but Zagara is taken out immediately there. Uh, Mopsio did try to go for a hook but uh, she was even killed before that. And now that's 4 for 0 one more time and Alternate can just grab all the skulls they want and then go for the final blow with the boss, uh, with the Grave uh, Giant, Grave Golem thing. <laughs> the big boss. Big, bad, nasty boss. Yeah, and right now it's only Rhaegar that's left alive. He has to deal with the catapults in bot lane um, and he has to somehow save the day, but it's not possible. Uh, it's good timings for alternate. The sea, the sea shines camps will be up soon, so they can grab those. But that's about it. And look at that, a hundred skull golem coming in for alternate. They're even waiting for the final. Nope, there it is. Mopsio just waited for them to port back, and now they can all go down bot lane and just yeah lay on the damage. Vassal needs to stay a little bit back. He shouldn't overextend here. They really need him in the fight. We focused on the heroes. But so far, uh, I mean, this is all going according to plan for alternate. We are blessed by the uh, funny, uh, funny enough that SK wants to go for a counter push. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see. Core is already under attack here. Mopsio dealing the damage. Vassal jumping on top of it. Heroics are pop. Shock and are coming in. Oh, the core is already so incredibly low, down to 30%, 25%, and that's game right there. Wow! That is not bad at all, coming out of alternate. You guys were talking about how um, they had a, a team composition and uh, that would already lose out um, uh, in the draft, and I don't know, they, they just showed us like how incredibly strong they can play this three assassin combination. And like, I mean, they, they didn't... Um, they didn't put everything down on one card. They still use the sustain uh, talents, so that kind of saved the day in the end. Because um, they saw, okay, we we had solid control in the early game, but then decided not to go all out and um, and use even more bursty, squishy damage. Okay. So let's have a look here. Mechanics, I mean, you can see all those skulls being collected by alternate. Uh, helps out a ton, of course. They didn't die all that much. Uh, won almost all of the team fights. Stitches, of course, with some nice hooks coming in. Uh, Guccio, I think, was probably 
player of the match there um, with some amazing shock and awe. Kept control down in the um, in the mines fight. I think that was the most incredible fight right there um, with the maw coming out of Zarmini. That initially gave SK a really good position, but uh, later on, I mean, Alternate played this out really well. They stayed back and kind of split apart. Didn't give Anubarak a chance to stun too many heroes at once. And then came back in and just picked them off one by one. Got busy, got Zarmini, and then uh, took out uh, Deathcape linked and BKB as the final pickup. So yeah, an incredible game by Alternate. I'm really looking forward to these next matches. By the way, uh, it's gonna be loser's choice on the maps now. So um, one thing we have to keep in mind that they can't pick a map where they already won a game. So um, for example, if for example SK would win this next game, then they couldn't, or uh, actually Alternate couldn't pick uh, Haunted Mines again. So that doesn't work, but other than that, uh, all maps are fair game. Alright, I did capture some replays. Um, don't know exactly which ones, but ha let's have a look. I, I do hope I captured the one in the mines, because that was just incredible. Uh, wait, got an invite coming in. And now for the replay. This is this was a good hook out of Mobs here, getting Deathscape there. Um, I mean, with Deathscape gone, uh, SK really needs to watch out. And this was this was the moment where they had their ultimates ready, and SK was still on the back foot. So um, yeah, losing out on the top four already so early in the game. Usually, you would see a team just going for a single lane, focusing on a single lane, and just dishing out the damage there. But yeah, they did they did a good job in this um, uh, in this game. Overall, okay, let's check out the team fights though. I think this might have been the one with a good. Yep, I think this is the one. I'm dragged just a little bit. And there we go. Krolo moving in. The line stun out of BKB was amazing. And now, look at this Vassal, Blue Hammer, and Mobsio all in the same spot. And there's the Maw. Getting three of them. Krolo? immediately trying to get away but uh, the body blocking is not bad by SK however he does stay alive for a little bit longer and I don't know I didn't like uh, um, I didn't like the orbital there I didn't do all that much but still got busy a little bit lower and then Mopsio with a pull in they do get Vala Mopsio of course he knew that he was dying and Alternate always trying to disperse. Uther ran away, tried to stay alive. Um, Vassal, of course, he was in his ultimate form, so he tried to get as much damage in as possible. And then here, the final snipe by Guccio. Uh, getting Zagara there. And Kolo picking the perfect timing to get back into the fight and then dish out on Linked instead of Deathcape, which was kind of interesting. Uh, slow, of course, coming in. And then linked uh, pretty low Gucci dishing away just at the right time and stun coming in again link take out yeah incredible fight by alternate and i was surprised that they managed to turn this around uh, especially after that more so what do we have here i think this is pretty close to the end they waited down there oh a little bit too far Yep, uh, okay, let's analyze the situation. Um, almost the entire alternate team is close to the entrance, and I think Krolu immediately popped his, uh, popped his heroic follow up by the orbital strike, of course. And BKB and BZ caught in there. BZ almost went down beforehand, anyways, and Link didn't quite get the ancestral healing in in time. And then Inuber, uh, BKB and uh, BKB and Vala both went down in that engagement and now everything just falls apart for SK. The Ancestral Healing coming in on, on Arthas, keeping them alive for a little bit longer and even stopping the stopping the body blocking there, so Deathscape was able to stay alive. But then Hook, final shot, and Zagara is taken out. Uh, I think Rhaegar was able to get away. 
Yep, Rega was the only one that left uh, that left that fight with his life. So yeah, that was that. Amazing initial opening game here for Alternate. And I think I have the link for the next one. Alright, let's check out the next the next draft phase. The map is going to be Garden of Terror. And we already have the first heroes picked here. It is a best of five, yeah. Indeed. Okay, there's the ban on Tychus by Alternate and a ban on Abathur by SK. First pick went to Stitches, so we're gonna see Mopsy on Stitches again. Um, SK ooh, with the counter picks, Uther and Feltz that counter picked. Yep, um, I think. Um, Especially counterpicking Feltz that uh, is incredibly important. Uh, you could see what Guccio was capable of in Feltz that. So uh, that was a wise idea. Then we have the picks Tyriel and Anubarak on alternate. So going for a little bit of counterpicking now. Uh, Tyriel was banned in that last game. So um, counterpicking Anubarak does make sense. I don't know who's playing him. Uh, no, I have no idea right there. But Anubarak is just a really dynamic hero. I like him quite a bit. And then we have the final hero pick in the first round for BK uh, uh, for Illidan by SK. Just let that sit for a bit. Bands are coming in. Passadar and Nova. So SK is scared of um, of Nova combinations with the orbital strike. And we have Rega being picked up by Alternate. And Arthas by SK again. So counter pick on the main support by Alternate. It's interesting. Looks like they want to go for a little bit of a different strategy this game. <laughs> yeah, quite a different strategy. This is basically a turnaround, complete turnaround. Um, we have uh, three warriors on alternate side, and the more balanced two warriors, two uh, two warriors, one assassin, or two two warriors, two assassins on SK side. So almost a turnaround. If F SK would have gone for a third assassin, um, <laughs> that would have been a perfect turnaround. Yes, indeed, it's, it is a best of five. And all maps are fair game. But we won't see any... Well, we can see repeats, but it's a little bit less likely. Alright, all the players are getting in the lobby. So we should be ready. Pretty soon. So do we have any SK fans in here as well? I hear mostly alternate fans so far. I'll put out a tweet so SK fans can join in as well. Got that out. If you want to retweet it, um, my Twitter is below the stream, so uh, you can check that out. I just put it out. So you can retweet it to the other SK gaming fans, maybe get even a couple more alternate fans in here. It's nuts already. <laughs> Mostly Polish, but uh, that's alright. Maybe you guys can uh, like translate for the English reviewers every once in a while, so they know what's going on as well. And now we have everyone readying up and we should be getting started here with this next game pretty soon. Let's look at the wombo combo potential. I see a lot of potential out of alternate. Uh, they don't have too much damage. 
But, um, I mean, Valor, uh, you can have Tyrael going in, Anubarak keeping either keeping the remainder of the team out with his stun, or um, having him uh, having him stun uh, stun the target one more time. And then Valor, of course, with a heroic dishing out the damage. Uh, Rhaegar's there to keep him alive. I would doubt that he goes for Bloodlust. It doesn't really work with the composition they have. And, um, yeah, Stitches could also work as um, a pick-off combo. Alright, and we're loading into the map. Garden of Terror it is. <sighs> okay, you guys know the deal. Collect 100 seeds, control the Garden Terror, and destroy your opponent. The seeds, uh, or the Garden Terrors, only come out at night. Right now it's day. It's daytime here on Garden Terror on, on the left side. We have our blue team once again, they're down one game, but they changed their composition, maybe they can make it happen this time. We have SK Gaming with BKB, their team leader on Shen in the top lane. We have Linked on Uther, Zarmini on Illidan, and Deathcape on Arthas. And BZ jumping in the air on Feltstad. Their opponents, Team Alternate out of Poland, we have Rolu on Rega. Tyrael played by Gluehammer. Stitches is played by Mopsio. And Vassal is playing a Nubarak. And also Guccio in there. And he is playing Vala. First time I've seen uh, Guccio playing Vala, I think. And looks like they have a little gang squad set up. Um, interested to see who's gonna take which lane. Looks like it's gonna be uh, Stitches and Anubarak that will play the gang squad on alternate side. And Gucci will take the bottom lane versus Falstad. And he knows the in and outs of Falstad, so that's a good idea. And we have the steal here on the easy giants, uh, the easy camp. Vassal Mobsio will, um, will have no problems taking this giant camp out, but they should watch out not to be spotted. So it looks like um, Illidan and Arthas will also go for their own giants. So that works out quite nicely for them. They get the steal and can go for their easy uh, easy camp afterwards if they want to. Let's see what their plan is here. Maybe a pickup on Fels that first. Mopsio is moving down. Oh, but a Nubarak. Not quite in position. Oh, with the hook missing! That would have been an amazing pickup. But um, of course Falstead did watch out there, and he was hiding behind the minions. This is why he couldn't place that hook perfectly. And now, Giants already wailing away here in the mid lane. Alternate opting to go for the seeds in the in, in the bottom half of the map. Let's see, are they going for the Garden Terror straight away? Yep. Vassal and Mopsio making short work of him, which you're joining in as well. And in the meantime, we have... SK also going for their seats, not going for the Garden Terror straight away. I don't know, probably they didn't have the map vision early on. Otherwise you really want to go for that Garden Terror while you know that your opponent is going for it. Otherwise, if you're even a little bit late, they can surprise you if you've not taken him down entirely. And down the Garden Terror goes, but alternate almost in there. But they're not going to be able to get there in time to steal any seeds. And the sun is back up. And with that, the camps are back up, which means Vassal and Mopsio can go for the seed giants one more time. Let's check out these uh, initial talent pickups for the heroes. We have Deadly Strike and Shock on Shen. Uther went for Dense Weightstone for Hammer of Justice damage increase and Protective Shield. And we have Frozen Waste on Arthas and in Venom, Shadow Shield and Immolation, and Bribe on Felstead alongside Gathering Power. Nubrek went for Extended Spikes and Underking. 
then heavy slam on stitches, so again slam, slam build on stitches, and Rhaegar is playing empowering charge and chain reaction. Yes. Rancor on Vela and Manticore. And Purge Evil alongside Retribution. And now we have the next team fight. Don't want to miss that. Mopsio caught out of position. Really being sandwiched there by Descape. Beezy coming in from the left side. They do take stitches out. Descape is pretty low. Maybe Gukan can get to him. No, they, he's being shielded quite well. No, but in the end does take it. Is taken out, but Nubarek also going down. Link is pretty low. Gucci dashes out of there and is still alive. But the steal happening here by SK. Blue Hammer. Oh, he maybe should. Yeah. Should stay back. We'll have to defend these sea giants. And a good fight by um, SK, but. Looks like uh, two, uh, two for three. Indeed, Heroes of the Storm is free to play, but it's currently in alpha phase, so not everyone has access, though I think it's a lot of people already have access. And SK almost up to level 8 as well. Oh, look at Vassal, he's waiting. He wants to report when they come in for the Knights. And once they did enough damage, then Alternate is gonna jump in. And this is the time, but there's the stun on Mopsio. And another slow coming out. And now they just jump on top of everyone here. Vassal getting quite low, but he deep dives out of there. Mopsy does fall. Prolu in trouble as well. He's being sandwiched. Does get out, but no, he is taken out while he gets away. And Gloomhammer taking a lot of the damage. And he does fall. Tyrael goes down. Felsen is taken out by Alternate. And Guccio, can he get away? Nope. Not with the follow up out of Shen. Jumping on top of him. And that's almost a team by Vassal, the only one that uh, was still alive here. Good fights coming out of SK, as we expected. Um, this was not really the composition that uh, Alternate showed strength in uh, previously. But, I mean, it's still early on. Everything can turn around once both of these teams hit level 10. And nothing is lost yet. Um, the initial damage being done here on the top tower. But Vassal can keep this alive and... I think, yep, even keeping the gate alive, so it should be fine. And there we go, alternate, trying to re-alley, BKB is in trouble, there comes the hook, and he's trapped, there's the gorge. And they do want to trap him down there, yep, he will be stuck, but does pop his heroic immediately, there's the split, BKB taking a lot of damage nevertheless, and they want to get him, but he does get behind the gate, so... It's a little bit of a waste, but now that they have the tire, entire team up here, might as well just go for the Garden Terror, grab a couple more seats, and SK Gaming, of course, doing the same back here. Go for their own Garden Terror, and we'll grab those seats as well. Garden Terror for Alternate already growing, and it's about ready for SK. So let's see, looks like Shen is gonna jump in there. And Alternate has to defend their mid lane. Let's check out the level 10 talents. We have Storm, Earth and Fire of course on Shen, Uther took Vine Storm, Army of the Dead on Arthas, Metamorphosis on Illidan, Shock and Awe coming in for Felstead, Anubarak took Locust Swarm, Gorge on Stitches, Rhaegar, Ancestral Healing, Reign of Vengeance on Vela, and Tyrael with the Judgment. And the next team fight about to happen. SK putting on the pressure here on the bot lane, doing a lot of damage here on that fort. It's gonna go down. The ooh, the plant terror not getting there quite in time for alternate, and they have to rotate back to mid. Have to deal with BKB. He's in there. He's doing the damage on the mid lane, and ooh, already laying siege on this fort. His team is joining him as well. SK wants to get in there, but Vassal trying to push him out. BKB took a little bit of damage, but they can't seem to quite grab him. And Vassal needs to watch out, he took way more damage in this. And SK is ahead a little bit. Ooh, nice pull there on BKB, but maybe a little bit too early. And he does get away. Yeah, that's that's the problem we have with this Garden Terror. You always have to stance around as long as both teams have the Garden Terror. No one really wants to commit to a fight. You want to get that Garden Terror really low before you go for your heroics, before you initiate into the fight. Meanwhile, SK did rotate back up with the Garden Terror. And there we go, BKB is going back and he still has 8 seconds. And ooh, Vassal and Mobs, you caught out of position. Felset does go down on SK side. BKB being body blocked here. He's in trouble. But ooh, he 
still has his heroic up if he needs to. Vassal is quite low as well. Mopsio also and Illidan jumps on top of him. Both Mopsio and Vassal. Uh, oh, Vassal is still in the game. For some reason he's still in the game. And there's a deep dive. He still stays alive. And BKB is on top of him. Zamini as well. Blue Hammer does push him away. But he's in trouble. There comes the body block. BKB wants to get him. But he does dash out of it. What a back and forth fight. And there's the initiation of BKB. He doesn't have his ultimate. And he's taken out. The escape comes in with a slow. Krolu is in trouble. And Nubarek falls first. There goes down Rhaegar. And Gluehammer and Gucci are not quite getting there in time. SK turning around that fight after their leader got killed. But that fort is still standing, and that was the most important part here for Alternate, keeping that fort alive, not falling further behind in the experience game. And maybe they can get a surprise here. Zarmini is caught in the position, and Link taking a little bit of damage there. But ah, uh, Gucci and, uh, and Blue Hammer not really on the same page, not really focusing the right characters. And yeah, getting there a little bit too late, but at least they prevented the steal on the Siege Giants. And we'll go straight ahead and grab those. And Giants in the mid lane. Camps are up, so we should be seeing the camp capture. It's coming in for SK. They're going straight for their knights. And follow that up with the easy camp here. And Alternate is doing the same thing. They could go for a steal on the Siege Giants by SK's side. Uh, it's a little bit risky though. And they don't have anyone to scout it out. So that uh, goes straight for the top Garden Terror. Grab a lot more seats. They're already up to 87. So almost ready for the next Garden Terror. And it's already growing for SK. They have one level advantage. This is gonna come in handy if they make it to level 16 before alternate. But maybe alternate can push through now. Um, top fort has already taken some damage here. One of the towers almost down, and yeah, gate does fall. The uh, the knights are pushing through, but at the same time, the knights are pushing on their side of the map as well. They are on the bot lane. They are almost made their way here to the keep. Blue Hammer is in position. He will try to stop this. In the meantime, uh, split defense going on. Alternate trying to defend the middle. They want to keep that fort. Blue Hammer also rotating up. So they do keep that fort alive. It's, ooh, it's down to almost a third of itself though. And maybe they can do some significant damage on BKB. Here comes the pole. And Vassal coming in from the other side. Yeah, they're really keeping him out of this fort range. He wants to stay in the fort range, so they do take damage, but he's pretty low already. This is a good move out of alternate, but they need to get a fort right now, since uh, SK is rotating back. Took out the top fort as well. So two forts already down for alternate. They need to make something happen. They might lose their third fort here as well. Okay, is still in the Garden Terror. Alternate, not really finding the engagement angle they want. BKB does get away. And this doesn't give them that much of a timing window to go for this fort, since everyone's moving back down here. BKB still has 30 second cooldown on his Garden Terror. He's almost run out of uh, out of health though. Well, they, maybe if they can pop him out of there, they could go for the fort. Not quite yet, but they still pile on the pressure. This is good. Just keeping them out of uh, out of their side of, of the mid lane. And he is popped out. Uema goes for the forward, but not for the final blow. And he pops out. There's the heroic out of Guccio. Doing a little bit of damage on BKB. Pops that with the, with the heroic as well. Blue Hammer is quite low, but he might be able to get away. I mean, after that, stops chasing. Vassal sacrifices himself. Uh, might be able to keep the remainder of this team alive. Krolu caught in the shotgun. Oh, Gucci quite low as well. There's the slow. Getting oh, getting the entire team. Mopsio caught out of position as well. And Tyrael, the only one that was able to stay alive here. And now they will pile on. They will go further in this lane. Will grab this key possibly at least go down with the um, go down on the on the gates. Yep, the gates will fall. And with that. There's trouble incoming for the keep. 7 second cooldown on a Nubarak. 14 on Stitches. This is not nearly enough uh, not nearly enough warriors to stop this onslaught. And the keep does fall. 
and Alternate is forced into a defensive stance. Uh, SK, yep, they're gonna they're gonna bribe these giants. So more damage in, uh, piling on here on the bot lane. And now they all return back, heal back up, and level 16 talents are available for both of these teams. Two levels ahead right there for SK. Combination attack on Shen. We have Hard and Focus on Uther, Stone Skin on Arthas, Illidan took Blood for Blood, and Overdrive on Felstad. And Rewind on Luberak, Overrise on Stitches, and Blood for Blood on Rega, Vela, and Tyrael. So, um, they know, okay, we need to make something happen. Um, this gives them a little bit more sustainability, but most importantly, um, they can uh, they can get a little bit more CC out of this and uh, possibly go for these final blows on SK, which didn't really work out in the previous team fights. I kind of like the way they handled um, they handled the aggression on the mid lane, but um, yeah, defense didn't really pan out all that much for uh, for alternate. And now it is. Mm, is the Terrors on the map again. 140 uh, for almost both of these teams. And looks like Alternate will try to push down on bot. It did take out the mid fort, but kind of losing out on the team fights. And BKB is in position to defend this. So it's gonna be a little bit of back and forth between these teams again. Siege is put on, and BKB with a clean uh, stunt there quite well by Gloomhammer. Escape catching a little bit of damage. He could be already on half health on this Garden Terror, and the gate is down. Towers will also fall here as well, and the siege is laid onto the fort. Blue Hammer doing a good job so far. There comes the body block on Escape, but he does get away, and Blue Hammer being body blocked here between all of these SK players. Uh, he takes the top route and does get away. Army of the Dead is on his back, so he needs to watch out, and Alternate is retreating. And yeah, they're gonna retreat all the way back to their keep and re ally here with their Garden Terror. But Gluhammer is pretty low. Uh, BKB still has a little, bit of, um, a little bit of health left in him. And now that Gluhammer is back in the game, they could go for the initiation, and there it is, on Linked. He will pop his heroic soon though. Yep, Vassal is in there, Gluhammer. They both get stunned. Gluhammer trying to go on top of Harmony, but no, turning back. They know they have BKB up front, and he's taking a lot of damage, but popping his heroic as well. Gluhammer caught in the shock and off, taking a lot of damage, but he might be safe behind the wall. Yes, he is. Can he get to the can he get to the mana wall? Yes, he can. And BKB getting out of there before taking the final blow. So far, only a Nuberak taking out for alternate. BZ is pretty low. Maybe they can go for a grab on him, but no, doesn't look like it's going to happen. So one for no for zero here on SK side one more time. Doing a good job in these team fights. And yeah, alternate they do have to deal with these catapults. They're piling on now in the mid lane, and you always have to send a couple of or at least one hero back to deal with the catapults, otherwise your core will take damage, and that puts you in that defensive position. Nubrak is back in the game. So they do have uh, the possibility to go for team fights again, but they're almost two levels down. And SK has their level 20 pounds ready in just a few seconds. Let's see what they're gonna take here. First, going for the giants in their top lane. They have to kill the uh, kill the knights in the top lane as well, but yeah, that's not gonna be an issue. And they took Vine Hurricane on Uther, Resurgence on Shen and Arthas, and Demonic Form on Illidan. Felstead, of course, with the Blast Law. So they know they've been doing quite well so far and now with a double resurgence on Shen and Arthas they can overextend a little bit if they want to. And I'm gonna try just that. Eye on the damage here in the top lane. We have the giants coming in. And with that a lot of damage potential on this keep. And with two, if they get the second keep as well, that would be detrimental to ultimate. They would always have to stay back in their base, defend and um, yeah, just keep um, keep getting rid of those catapults. 
Garden Terror now being attacked here by SK. Alternate, of course, also going for theirs. Um, SK still, they do have so many seeds already. Uh, they will have the Garden Terror first, but probably wait a little bit longer. They want to lure uh, Alternate in there. But maybe they can force a team fight right here. They're already moving down. Garden Terror still on uh, third health left. And there we go, SK moving in. They have level 20 talents. They can go for this. They can overextend a little bit. Are they going to, though? Nope, they're just gonna go for the steel. Oh, wow. Steel on the Garden Terror just grabbing even more seeds. These teams really want to watch out. There's no way that they're risking anything here by um, by overextending, even though they do have that resurgence of the storm. Yeah, all uh, top and bottom lanes are still up for them. I'm gonna go for a couple more seeds in the top lane and almost have the next Garden Terror ready. They just need six more seeds so they get, a, get an immediate Garden Terror in the next night phase. Uh, that's pretty huge right there. Um, could give him a massive advantage of, against Alternate. Alternate will need to stay back. Luhem is waiting to jump into his Garden Terror. And he will now. Once he sees BKB is moving in. And there we go. We'll go for the defense. Can they get the pot? Nope. Pot is engaged, doing some damage here on the keep already. SK is, to, is fine with just staying back, putting on the siege on the keep if they can, and just trying not to be polymorphed here. Bluehammer uh, did get one of these players, and there's the stun, but easy does dash away. And yeah, they're just happy to keep uh, to get this keep, and would probably not try to overextend, but instead rotate down. And one more keep gone, that's additional damage coming in by the catapult, that's additional XP that SK has just gained, two levels ahead, but oh, alternate almost at level 20 as well, next siege coming in here on the bot lane, already getting rid of one of these towers, next tower will fall soon, ooh, BKB being hooked there, but he's still pretty high in health, so they can't get him down just quite yet. And try to get in a good position to get rid of BKB. He's so low on health. I don't think that SK will overextend here. Uh, they're not going to make that same mistake. Uh, Alternate is almost at level 20, so um, they don't want to risk it by them having storm powers as well. Could go for it uh, on uh, three heroes, I believe. So that's a little bit dangerous, and they do need to keep that in mind. Still 20 seconds left on the Terra on alternate side, so they could go for some damage on the top lane possibly, but it's gonna take them a little bit to get there. And alternate, gotta get a good move on, but Vassal has been singled out on the left side. If, if SK catches this, he might be in trouble, but now they have a nice concave set up, and BKB popped out of. There's the shock and awe. Oh, wow, Vassal's so low, they want to go for BZ. Zamini also taking a lot of damage, but Tyrael is taken out, and Vassal also taking a lot of damage. Zamini on the hunt for Vassal. Mopsio pretty low as well, he wants to go for Link, but he's taken out beforehand. Vassal also goes down, Zamini on top of him, and now only Vala, Rega, and Tyrael back alive. There's the resurgence on Stitches and Noob. And this is why SK didn't want to overextend here, because they knew, okay, our opponents could go for the Resurgence as well. And Shen is taken out in the retreat, but of course he does have Resurgence, so he's gonna be back up in just a sec. Alternate uh, will use this time to possibly go for the Steel and the Seed Shines, but more importantly, take out the top forward. But since SK is back up now, they need to watch out. Krono will be pretty low on health already. And Mopsy not quite getting getting the hookshot done there. And they're so low on seeds. SK can just grab five more and they're fine. But yeah, they're gonna go for even more seeds. Just to follow make a nice follow-up possible. And let's check out what they went for. Yep, Resurgence of the Storm on three heroes, Luberak stitches. And Styrial, Vala went for Storm of Vengeance and Storm Shield on Rhaegar.
So a little bit um, better survivability or alternate, and they might very well just make a turnaround happen now, since they do have resurgence on three heroes, while we only have resurgence on two heroes on SK's side. So that's that's a huge bonus for a, a, a team alternate. And they will go for both of their camps now. Same thing's happening on alternate side, also going for their camps. And they have a couple of siege giants already wailing away at these minions, but the catapult of course doing a little bit of damage on them already. And I think core damage might happen soon if these catapults do move in. There's the Garden Terror, DKB again slipped inside, and they will go straight for the mid lane. No Garden Terror being taken so far by Alternate, they don't have seeds, they, they're still missing 5 seeds. Oh jeez, if SK plays their cards right, they might have this game right here. I think Zarmini uh, already pops Ultimate. Uh, let's see, there's, there's the Heroic out of Valor. Doing some decent damage. The escape is pretty low. There's the Heroic out of Uther. And trapping some of these heroes, but Tyrell does go down. BKB just blocking troll and he's, he's healed back up with the uh, Ancestral Healing. Vassal's still in the fight, but Mopsio will go down. He's trapped by Zarmini. And now three heroes only left alive. Blueheimer jumps straight back into the fight. Troll is still alive, but no Ancestral Healing on him. They do pile on the damage on the core. He's down to 30% health. The escape almost down, but they still have Link and BKB dealing out the damage, and I think even with only BKB it's gonna be enough, and yep, he does get the final blow here. And SK coming back in the series, 1-1 one, one here between SK and Alternate. Whew. Okay, I need to chill a little bit. <laughs> this went, and went on for a long time, and I think SK, uh, I think Alternate had a decent chance to turn this around with a triple resurgence, but SK um, being on top of the seats and getting that final Garden Terror without uh, Alternate having one, um, that was the final lay on the coffin. <sighs> Alright, fellas. So we're gonna go into the third game pretty soon here. I don't think uh, that SK has that much time since they uh, need to play in the HPL Summer Finals as well. Uh, give me a sec, I have to send the admin information to the HPL guys so they can sort all the scheduling out. Well, Cisco, you don't you don't like heroes yet. Um, I mean the the thing how you um, kind of get rid of gold and and items and whatnot and still make it interesting is basically talent choices and um, making the talent choices meaningful. Right now, I don't think it's in a spot where all the talents are viable, but I think Blizzard knows that and they'll probably fix it and make. Talent, like all talent choices, and sometimes you do have four or five, so um, making all talent choices viable in at least um, certain situations. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back um, with the third game here between SK Gaming and Alternate in the Arcana Heroes Cup Finals. I'm G-Shock and if you, like, if you guys like the cast then don't forget to follow and you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, it's below, um, it's below the video so check those out if you want to be up to date on what I'm casting and when I'm casting next. And we already got an invite to the lobby, so the draft should be coming up soon. Hopefully SK is not under uh, too much uh, too much pressure to finish the series. And because there are... Um, yeah, th there's prize money on the line. It's 100 euros in Battle.net balance. 
So you can use that for additional heroes. You can also use it for Hearthstone if that's your fancy, but uh, I think these guys, being pro heroes players, they're gonna put it all into heroes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with the draft for the third game. It's gonna be played out on Cursed Hollow one more time. No, wait, we didn't have Cursed Hollow in the finals yet. So yeah, Cursed Hollow for the first time in this series. Stay tuned!
Alright fellas, we're back with the Arcana Heroes Cup playoffs. I'm G-Shock and we're jumping straight into the draft for the final game. Unfortunately, uh, the draft interface kind of bugged out on us, so they'll do the draft in um, in chat. So I'll show you guys what's going on. Nope, that's not the right one. This one. That's it. Okay, uh, never mind. I can show a little bit of a different interface, just need to have it there. Alright, so... We have a ban by SK on Abathur, and the ban by Alternate is on Stitches. Hey Thordax, <laughs> thanks thanks for the ad. <laughs> Stitches uh, is the ban on Alternate's part. And the first pick by SK is Tychus. And alternate picks up Tassadar, uh, picks up Uther and Falstad. And like uh, Sif Dora just said in chat, um, I have to agree, alternate has to pick up Uther from SK. He was incredibly vital in that last game, uh, getting amazing CCs off uh, with his Divine Storm and really controlling the fights. Uh, the next picks for. SKR Tassadar and Anoop. So they'll probably wait for their um, their support later, uh, their main support for later, and next pick is for alternate. A noob was already grabbed, thick and bad stitches is banned. Hmm. That's awkward. They will go for material. Ooh! He was banned. Alright, <laughs> that works then. And material fells that Ufer. That is pretty amazing. There's the next ban coming in out of SK and it's Nova. So they don't want to have that Tyrael Nova combo. And that ban makes a lot of sense. Let's see the ban on Alternate's part. Um, maybe Rhaegar, since Tychus and Tesla and Anoop have been picked up. It's Shen! Okay, they want to take SK's survivability away. Mm. Even though right at this point, Tychus, Tessa, and Anoop, that doesn't tell you anything about the composition they want to play, so... Kind of surprising that they ban Shen. Yeah, and SK will just go for Arthas, who's uh, just as fine. So I think um, they'll probably go for... Yeah, they'll probably go for Rhaegar as their final pick. And then... Hmm... Will they go for Bloodlust or... Ancestral healing. Lately we've mostly seen Ancestral healing. But first the pick out of alternate. And they uh, will probably go for their assassin first. Which could be Valor. Mm, but also Illidan is still up for grabs. Illidan, Zeratul, both are up for grabs. Zeratul probably doesn't make that much sense, uh, since uh, if they do have... Well, I mean, they could stop Tychus uh, with the Bloodlust combo, but... They uh, have Tassadar on the opposing team, so um, the, uh, the Cloak doesn't give you that much of an advantage. Come on! Alternate. Go for your next pick! We're running out of time. They really want to make us wait here. <laughs> Thordex with the ads. Uh, yeah, by the way, um, 
since he's mentioning the YouTube channel, I do upload all my uh, casts and gaming sessions and whatnot to YouTube, so uh, you can follow me there as well. It's just youtube.com slash shock. And alternate, taking way too much time on their ban here. I don't like that all that much. They should stick to the plan. Kerrigan? What? Kerrigan? Um, okay, Kerrigan is a little bit unusual. Ooh, an alternate going for Vela. Kerrigan Vela. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. They're going for that squishy composition again, like in the first game, but they made it work. And Rhaegar on SK's side. So, possibly Bloodlust, but as I said, it's not been picked all that much uh, lately. So, Ancestral Healing gives you a little bit better survivability, which SK used quite well in the uh, previous games uh, all throughout the night. I think one game they got a little bit surprised, that was the initial game versus uh, PvP. And looks like at least Alternate is ready, so we could be starting soon. Yeah, that works. Let's get started, let's jump into the game. The third match between Alternate and SK Gaming. And this is a best of five by the way, so there might be a lot of more matches coming in. And so far, I mean, the first game was just perfect for Alternate and a big surprise to all of us. I mean, you guys were as surprised as I was when they just completely ruled the game um, with their um, with their squishy composition. They have this uh, a similar composition, similar team composition this game. So let's see if they can make it work Prepare just one more time. But. Initially, their opponents on the left side here on Cursed Hollow, SK Gaming in the blue. They have BKB on a noob, linked on Rhaegar, Deskk playing Arthas. In the top lane, we have Zarmini on Tychus. Bottom lane is taken by BZ on Tassadar. And their opponents, four, Team Alternate, three, out of Poland, we have Gucci on Felstad, his main hero in the top lane. And Krolu is playing Ufer one more time, like in the first game. Then Mopsio is playing uh, Tyrael, Vassal on Kerrigan, and in the bot lane we have Gluehammer on Vela. So looks like Tyrael and Vassal, uh, Tyrael and Kerrigan will be our gang squad on alternate side, while Tychus and Arthas, oh, probably Arthas and the Nubarak will be the gang squad here in the top lane. Tychus will take that lane and. Versus Falstad, he should be in a good position to push on the slain. And Arthas and Noob not really seeing their position coming here. Ah, it's kind of funny, both main, the main supports are in that mid lane. Ooh, nice stun on Deathcape, might have saved his life here, but there comes the stun. And Krolu's in trouble, there's the slow, but oh, can he stay alive? Yes he can, BKP needs to deep tunnel out there. And he also stays alive. That was pretty close by Krolu. Um, good timing on the stun out of Deathcape. Uh, that's just the strength of the uh, double stun or um, stun and slow coming out of Arthas and the Nubarak. And they will go for their easy camp now. Let's see if Alternate spots this out. I need to realize, okay, they're not in position. And they're probably doing the easy camp, but uh, getting there a little bit too late. And the easy camp has reset. There we go for the steal now. And thus, that gives them a good position. But ooh, Vassal stays back. Can she get away? Gucci is moving into position. They need to stay. A, uh, oh, need to win a little bit more time. But Gucci is taken out. And Mopsio still jumping in there. Another Cruel was in there as well. They can take this fight. Linked. Taking a lot of damage, but he can heal back up. Zamini single out on top. But no one's coming in to grab him, and there comes a good defensive stun out of BKB, keeping Vassal back. Alright, let's check out the talents. 
Extended Spikes on a Nubarak, Arthas took Frozen Waste, uh, Healing Totem on Rhaegar, Overload on Tassadar, Armor Piercing Rounds on Tychus, uh, carrying it with Sweeping Grasp, Rancor on Bella, Conjurer's Pursuit on Ufer, Purge Evil on Tyrael, and Bribe on Feldstad, and Venom on both Kerrigan and Arthas. So you should be watching out for the Venom. And the first tribute is up. Could be a good position for either of these teams, but alternate is being uh, split apart here. Kronu is in bottom, Vassal kind of singled out, and BKB jumps on top of her, but he's taken a lot of damage. And Mopsio is still down there, Gluehammer takes him out, and that's one hero down on SK side, but Ufer also falls, and Kerrigan went down for alternate. So maybe they can get the escape. Mopsio is on the hunt, and he does grab him in the end. But Mopsy needs to get out of that fight, even taking a little bit of those tower shots. We'll stay alive for now though. And Gluehammer returning and getting back to safety as well. So two for two in that engagement. And unfortunately alternate is pretty low, which means SK will probably get the grab on this tribute. But they will try to get the disrupt going and they do have um, at least three ways to go for a long distance disrupt. Which is quite nice. Oh, almost getting Tassel there. I don't think uh, Vassal really spotted him. And now Tychus is back in the game, so he has that long range disrupt as well, alongside BKB. So it's gonna be a little bit of a dance alongside this tribute. This is a good position out of SK, and they jump on top of Vassal. She's trapped in there. And the escape taking a lot of damage as well. Mopsio caught on the position, but BKB is the first one to go down. And Kerrigan will get out of that fight. Zamini also staying back. It's gonna be a little bit of a dance again around this tribute. They can keep the team divided like they do now. They're gonna grab it. And yes, there it is. First tribute does go to alternate. And we will see them returning to the lanes now. A little bit of an XP advantage, but not too, not too big. And as I said, uh, Tigers just doing a good job pushing this lane. Check out the level seven talents: adaption on Kerrigan, searing attacks on Vala, Ufer took cleanse and reciprocate on Tyrael. And we have Boomerang on Feldstad, Battle Barbs on Luberak, Rune Tap on Arthas. Earth Shield on Rhaegar, Static Charge on Tassadar, and Tychus took first aid. And uh, Felstead was caught out of position. And well, we have the, uh, the, uh, the knights being capt uh, captured by Deathscape. Yeah. And Uther is in trouble, but Tychus also going down uh, in top lane. Tyrael jumped on top of him there, and Krolu in trouble as well, there comes the stun, slow follow up out of Deathcape, they do some nice job here, body blocking him, and there's the final blow, taking him out. So, good team kills coming out of, uh, good kills coming out of both of these teams, SK grabbing 5 kills, as well as alternate. But it's all about the tributes, and the next one's coming up, it's down in a good position for SK, generally needs to be stopped here. BKB is already on it, and Mopsium also moving into the fight. Luhammer is quite low, she needs to stay back for a while. I think this is gonna be SK's tribute, because uh, they need Luhammer in the fight, and yep, Alternate just letting it go. Probably just gonna go for their own uh, knights now, since they have dealt with the knights in the mid lane. Yep, Dazzle is getting into position, Mopsio also following that up. So they will go for their own knights, and we have the box grabbed by SK. Alternate's gonna be level 10 soon. Let's see what they're gonna go with here. And will we see the following capture on the boss? I think they have to do it, but since not the entirety of their team is in position, uh, it would be quite risky. And BKB, they're looking for a good position for the next tribute. Let's see where it's gonna land. Uh, it's only a few seconds away. And there's the initiate on Mopsy on Zarmony, but not 
not all of Ultimate is in position. Here comes a good slow, Anubarek does go down, followed up by Arthas. Mopsio is still in a good position in this fight, Zarmini is body blocked there, but he heals back up with uh, the Ancestral healing, another Ancestral, uh, Ancestral healing coming in on, uh, on Tychus, and he is taken out in the end. 3 for 0 so far, and it's still not over yet, BZ is being captured there by Vassal, but it looks like they just want to get a safe grab on that tribute, and grab their second tribute, gonna follow that up with a boss, and then probably push down top lane alongside their boss. Good, really good team fight out of alternate. And let's check out the ultimates that we saw here. Judgment wasn't used yet by Tyrael. Uh, Shockador on Felstad, Divine Storm on Ufer, Valor used Reign of Vengeance, and Maelstrom on Kerrigan. And we have the Odin on Tychus, Archon on Tassadar, Ancestral Healing on Rhaegar, Army of the Dead on Arthas, and Locust Swarm on Nurbarak. And they're not gonna help their boss. But that's interesting. But that means they're just gonna rotate uh, into one of these other lanes and try to put on the pressure there. I uh, have a little bit of a split push attempt and this gate is gonna fall in no time. And the next tribute is up. It's in a good position for SK. Let's see what alternate is gonna do. They're not gonna let this one go without a fight. Yep. Trying to hide down there. If they wanna get into a nice concave and not be surprised by SK. BKB begins channeling. And alternate wisely staying out of uh, out of the bunched up position. They don't want to get hit by the BKB stun, but it's it's gonna happen sooner or later. They're gonna bunch up eventually. But so far, just disrupting that stun. SK almost on level 12 as well. And there comes the stun, but Gucci dashes out. Mobsio now in there, trying to get the top of Zarmini. But Deathscape is also single out. There's the shock on our getting a new Burak. Deathscape quite low as well, but Vassal quite low. Will she go down? No, Arthas falls first. And BZ getting back into the fight. Wanna get Vassal? But she gets away, and Tychus is taken out. Oh, I think Alternate are just the masters of these uh, of these assassin having compositions. They're just playing this out so well. And, I mean, it's still, it doesn't look like it's falling apart or anything. They always make the right call when to disengage with individual heroes and uh, when to stay on and just take the kill. So another good team fight out of alternate and they will get at least one fort, possibly two with Feltzet pushing down on Bart as well. But no, Arthas is in position so Gushio is not going to overextend here. But they will get the top fort without any real issues. That's almost three levels ahead now for Alternate, making good work on here uh, on Cursed Hollow. Could they even go for the Night Steel? It's a little bit risky, um, and with almost all of SK up, probably not really worth it. But let's see if they can get another kill here on this fort. Arf is trying to defend the Seed Shrines. And the gate is down. Arf is completely out of position. And there's the initiation by Mopsio getting on top of Deathcape. And he's taken out in no time. If you don't have Rhaegar in there, you just melt away if you fight the entire team. And they will get them this next fort as well. And that's a solid lead out of Alternate. My curse subsides. Almost up, up to level 16. And this should give him the ability to just get every single tribute from now on, unless they lose out in the team fights. And this fort is almost gone as well. They will go up to level 16 really soon. Yep, that's it. That's it. Getting all three forts uh, with oh, just a single curse and grabbing, uh, grabbing so much XP in the process. We have Blood for Butt on three heroes, Radi a Gathering Radiance on Ufer and Overdrive on Felstad. So yeah, they're really out for the team kills now. Uh, blood and blood on three heroes. And let's see if they can make it happen. Mopsio engaging on BKB, but there's the stun. And it actually stuns Mopsio. We're going back into the fight as well. Vassal with the grasp, getting BZ. There comes the shocker now, but BZ gets out with the ancestral healing. Stays alive, and Uberak is taken out on top. And Linked but needs to get out of that fight. Chrono went in there with a nice stun. Arthas did, uh, was taken out here. And Odin 
just try to uh, try to use them defensively. Oru is pretty low though. Mopsio as well. They might get Mopsio, but Zarmini goes down first and double healing globes to get the team back up. Wow. Um, Alternate just grueling these fights. Uh, I don't think SK has a single chance um, now with two levels or three levels behind it still. And all of their forts gone. Um, it's gonna be a keep here pretty soon, and with that, SK has to stay even more defensive. Knights will be dealt with here before the fort should go down. And yeah, Guccio and Gluhammer uh, have no real issues dealing with these knights. They will rotate to, top these, to stop these minions as well. But the fort hasn't taken any real damage yet. Meanwhile, SK is still dealing with a boss here. And I mean, this is a strong boss. Uh, they only have three heroes available down here, because Arthas and Tychus are grabbing the easy camp on top lane, which is not going to do all that much. And the next boss will be incoming on top lane as well. So Alternate just piling it on with all of these camps, all of these mercs being taken. And the next tribute is incoming. It's in a good position for SK. Let's see if they can make it work. Falstad is going to bribe the bottom lane. And BKB already beginning channeling. I think he's going to get it before uh, before alternate gets the position. Yes, and there we go. They're going to go for the grab. But the knights are in mid lane. And that last tribute might never actually come into play. But the good stun on Krolu. Keeping him out of the fight and keeping him off his heroic. This is done on Gluehammer, but no one to follow it up. BKB a little bit alone there and in the bottom half. But now we have the Siege Giants making their way on the bot lane. And I think with the boss on top, SK is a little bit preoccupied, so they can go for the push on bot lane. Tychus and Noob uh, are still in mid here. But the boss has been dealt with, so they can rotate down just in time. There's the shield, preemptive shield here. And it looks like Alternate is gonna back off. Gonna go for the next tribute. They really need to get this tribute, and uh, I don't think SK has any chance of getting it. Yeah, Gucci is just gonna grab it. Gonna start channeling right away. And afterwards... Um, yeah, they need to stall a little bit and just... Um, maybe catch someone off guard to just keep the tribute control in their hand. Check out the level 16 talents on SK side. We have Rewind on Nubarak, Stone Skin on Arphis and Tychus, and Earthgrath Totem on Rhaegar with a Dimensional Warp on Tassadar. So, yeah, the same thing happened. Um, like we said, they will SK will stay in their game, uh, will stay in their base, and they will have to stay in there for quite a while because they have um, catapults coming in all uh, in. No, not not yet. No catapults yet, <laughs> but still, um, they are on the back foot, and alternate. We'll get a move on here in this mid lane. Good stun and a nice follow up stun here. Mopsio is caught out of position, but BKB taking a lot of damage. Successful healing comes in. Rolu right in the middle of that. Vega does fall. Kerrigan will fall as well. And falls at pretty low, but they can turn this around. Deathcape is quite low. He's being singled out. And Guccio, can he get away? Mopsio trying to save him. Catching the fire. Ooh. And he will stay alive. But Zarmini overextending. There comes the stun out of Krolu. And BKB stunning them one more time. Zarmini running away. I think he will be fine, but he needs to watch out. He's pretty low, and Mopsio jumps right in there. Two for three. Um, still a worthwhile fight for Alternate. And they're almost at level 20, and they will grab this next tribute. Gucci already began channeling. He flew over here. And it's two for two in the tribute game. So if they just keep this up and go for the tributes as often as they can, they'll be in a good spot. This was the first team fight that um, possibly didn't go quite, um, quite as well as they planned, but it was still all right. We are blessed by the light. Easy camp will be grabbed by SK, and let's have a look at the timers here. Boss is coming up in one and a half minutes, thirty seconds on the hard camp. And yeah, the, siege, uh, the knights will be taken in quite a while. 
So also I will just defend these knights for now. And ooh, DKB needs to watch out. We have almost the entire team out of alternate in position. There's a deep dive on Guccio. And alternate, a little bit divided here, but Chromu should be able to get away. Nope, there's a stun follow up. There's Cape. Uh, ultimate pop by Ufer, but Mopsio moves in. There's Cape taking a lot of damage. DKB on the run. Wants to get out of there, but Mopsio jumps back on top of him. Guccio is quite low as well, though. And Tyrael will go down here. So a good team fight out of SK. And they might even get one more, or at least make it worth it by taking this fort and grabbing the final tribute. Yep, Arthas is moving down there, so they're gonna grab this fort and go for the final tribute at the same time. Excellent timing for SK to win this team fight. Uh, all of their heroes are back up, but at the same time, alternate on level 20. Do they have resurgence? Oh, only on Tyrael. And I think he died before they got level 20, otherwise he would have been back in that fight. And is SK risking it? Nope, they're not going for the Knights. They want to get the fort. Want to catch up, want to get their level 20 as well. Excellent choice by them, not risking anything. They might get the steal here on this boss, but alternate is already in position. And if they realize this, they could go for a steal on the boss. But nope, only Guccio in position, so not trying anything here. And they will have to deal with the boss. It's almost being taken here by SK. And SK possibly has found a way to get back into this game, even though they were um, having a little bit of trouble dealing with the team fights. but that was just winning the team fight at the exact time he wanted. And might they even get their own boss? No, it's too risky. Alternate is already moving in. Uh, but that means they will have to defend this boss. Or possibly wait Will we see the Oracle being parked by BZ. Yeah, already being popped. So now they're missing the vision and... Where's them engaged? Oh, a nice stun here, getting mobs here, Blue Hammer. And Kono jumps in there, there's the Divine Hurricane, and he does get it, and Link is pretty low, there's the Grass, getting Link back in there, but Kerrigan goes down, Kono goes down, Tyrael also taken out, oh, this is snowballing in the wrong way, Alternate really losing out in that team fight. can they keep Guccio and Gluhammer alive, they're pretty low already, but uh, no, SK not trying to follow here, didn't have that line stun available out of the noob. They do have Resurgence of the Storm on Anub and Arthas. Storm Shield being taken by Rhaegar, Twilight Archon and Tassadar, and Tychus taking, taking the big red button. And with that, they do have the boss making its way along the bottom lane. And Alternate will have to return, will have to defend this. They lost the keep now. So, Alternate is on the back foot. They. Uh, really, um, yeah, they really lost out in this game. SK made the turnaround happen and now they need to defend. They need to defend against this boss that's incoming on the bot lane. Uh, it doesn't look like SK wants to help out the boss. I think they, they're pretty happy just having alternate in the bot lane and instead split pushing here in the mid, dealing some damage on the gates, possibly taking out the keep, but Kolo is in position and yeah, Vassal and Mopsio are also rotating back up. They know if they get this team fight, they can possibly go for steals on the camps, and they have the tribute that's still available. So I think it's gonna be a run for the tribute now. The boss was taken out by the minions at the same time. And of course, SK has a nice way to always disrupt the channeling with BKB, with Tychus, and uh, even BZ with his, with his storm. So it's gonna be a little bit of an issue for Alternate to get a grasp on that Tribute. They're kind of forced into a line right there, which is good for BKB, but there's the Initiate on Mopsio. He stays away. No one wants to really overextend here, but oh, what a storm! And there comes the Shocker now, doing some damage on, on, on uh, Zarmini. But Nubarak is taken out, Uther falling as well. And Tyrael taking out Guccio in trouble. Blue Hammer might get away, but it's gonna be close. No, the storm kills her. 
and they will go for the final tribute, but no, not not even wasting any time. They're going straight for the core. That might be a bad idea. Mopsy was back up, but other than that, they got the entire team. So they just want to get in a good position, want to have all of their heroes at the same time coming into the core. And there we go, the shield is down. Yes, now it's down. And they're just going to pile on the damage here. Mobs, you can wail away at Link all the day, uh, all, as long as he wants. Core is still going to fall, and SK will take the second game, uh, third game rather. We'll say it will take their second victory here. Let's have a look at the stats. I mean, 21 kills on alternate, uh, 18 kills on SK's part, but still they lost out in the end. And the really amazing team fight by SK. At the oppor most opportune time just to um, go for the final tribute and go for the boss at the same time that, that was incredible and that probably saved them the day. Alternate just played their cards right initially but uh, then in the end uh, SK finally made the turnaround happen. Alright, I captured a lot of fights. Let's see if any of these are relevant. This is probably from the last game. Yep. Gotta find the right gotta find the right replays. That's the right one. Okay, that works. Alright, so I have a couple of replays for you guys. Let's check those out. Let's see if we find some good team fights as well. I think this was one of... Oh, yeah, second tribute. And this was the one that uh, Alternate had to let go. Nothing happening there. Jump back and forth. Yep, yeah, that's where we should get started here. These initial team fights went really well for Alternate. So let's check out what they did differently. Focus goes down on BKB and they take him out right away. And then going straight for Death Cape, they really sang singled those out. They had Mopsio jump in on the left side and he just kind of, yeah, I'll handle Zarmony linked and BZ. I can take that, I can take a beating. And then they singled out the Warriors and took out Anubarak and Arthas. And once those guys are gone, the, the remainder of the team is gonna fall uh, in no time. I mean, they still had Linked alive who um, is going to heal up Zarmony uh, with the Ancestral Healing there. But that's only going to delay the inevitable. And with everyone of Alternate jumping on top of him, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Damn, I'm Alternate now. <laughs> yeah, it's 2-1 to one, uh, for SK right now. <laughs> Better go make a relative. Okay, let's check out the next one. This was another fight for the tribute. Those were always the most exciting fights here. Always that little dance and they always wanted to go for BKB or Deathcape. Okay, so let's check this out. It's gonna happen any second. It's always mobs you're going for the initiation. And there we go, but not quite. There we go, finally. And hitting on Zarmony. 
now we have the remainder of the team moving in. Vassal in position, they single out BKB. Uh, Gucci was taking quite a beating, uh, I think he had to uh, go back later on. But look at this shock and awe coming in, going straight for BKB, hitting BZ and Zarmini at the same time. And um, yeah, taking out a Nubarak of course. Deathscape still in the game. And this was actually a pretty sweet uh, hit here by the Odin as well. Getting uh, almost four members of alternate, but Deathcape took quite a beating since they were all stacking up on him. So he goes down, BZ also quite low, but Mopsio not quite going for him. They want to finish off Zamini first and then go for Tychus. Uh, Tassadar, rather. So these were the early fights for alternate, and they went so well. Uh, let me just see if we have the next lobby ready yet. I'll just join that. And ask for a link, give me a sec. Oh, they're just getting in there. So, I do hope that I captured some of the later replays as well. I want to see where it went wrong. But this might not be it. Nope, this is still alternate piling on the pressure. Getting all of, winning all of the team fights. Alright. How about this one? This is later on, right? Hmm, still looking good for alternate though. Hmm, I don't think I have the turnaround. A little bit unfortunate. Because this was still when they had everything under control. Only lost Kerrigan, and um, someone said it uh, earlier, a Kerrigan does get a little bit worse later on. Early on with her with her ultimate and everything, uh, she can dish out a lot of damage, you have the grasp, but uh, later on it's it's not quite as strong anymore. And they also weren't able to focus out Arthas and Anubarak quite as well as in the early engagements. Okay, uh, they're gonna do the draft in the lobby. So, we'll have to note this one more time. Is everyone in here? Not yet. So, 2-1 to one for SK. Alternate has to win this one. Otherwise, SK goes home with 100 euros in battle net balance and possibly a lot of uh, heroes for them. Oops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they had me as a player. I don't think they would have helped here on SK's side. Okay, so we have the ban coming in by alternate and it's Nova. Considering that last game I would have banned a noob. He, ma uh, he made a lot of these situations even possible. <clears throat> okay, so they started banning, but I don't know. Is everyone coming back in? Where's the second ban? Come on, fellas. Oh, we had a ban on Noob by SK, funnily. 
Okay, that's interesting. So they realized the power of a noob. And then the ban on Nova by alternate. So the first pick went to SK and it's Illidan. And Arf is being taken by alternate. Baker is still not in here. Baker, if you're watching something else, I'm uh, I'm terribly sorry for you. You should be watching this. Alternate has another pick, I think. But wait, why is BKB picking now? Hmm. Okay, whatever they want. Right wing is picked up by SK. And Shen for alternate. Early pickup on Brightwing. Oh, uh, yeah. Just checking the map. Black Hearts Bay. Makes sense. Swap glue hammer and BZ. Hmm. Don't quite get it. Wait. Are they done? Oh, that's, that was the second ban. Um, so I think we missed the first bans. Oh, there was a ban on Stitches and a ban... No, uh, ban Abathur, ban Stitches? That was the last game though. Mm. Yeah, I think we missed the initial bans, I'm sorry about that. We just got the second wave in. So we'll just have to check what the team compositions are. Audius, if you if you keep talking in Polish, I can't answer you. Score is currently um, 2-1 for SK, if that was the question, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but let's get started here. On Blackheart's Bay, on the left side. Winning two games in a row. Kind of showing their strength with all kinds of compositions. They are our team in the blue, SK Gaming. They have Tassada, Stitches, Illidan, Turiel, and Brightwing. Their opponents in the red trunks on the right side, Team Alternate, with Gucci on Feldstad, Prolu on Uther, Gluehammer on Bala, Vassal on Shen, and Mopsio playing Arthas. And Feldstad is gonna quickly capture the tower. Giving him vision up here, and we'll see the gang squad moving out on bottom lane. Ooh, BZ is in trouble. And there comes the slow, but BZ, of course, he can get away. There's a jump on top of him. He pops the shield right away, and Tyr is moving in. So that's the signal here for Alternate to move back. And they did lose control of that top watchtower as well. So Kromu will have to make do uh, by himself. And has to play a little bit more defensively uh, with Zamini BKB and Link in position. Chess should spawn any second now. So BKB, Zamini uh, and Link are getting there and getting the first hits off. Kronu's not gonna have any chance to grab a couple of coins here. But it looks like Alternate can make do here in the bot lane. Yeah, they grabbed all of the coins and pretty forced back BZ quite a bit in this bot lane. And more points incoming. We saw how Alternate handled this map by just... Um, or actually, was it SK? Yeah, I think it was SK that handled this map quite well. Uh, versus... Uh, versus playing with Pain is Pain. Uh, where they always controlled the coins, always grabbed those coins um, whenever they could. So it's gonna be all about the coin game. And we have to check this out. 
There was a steal attempt here on the Easy Giants and Mobsio taking a lot of damage. He needs to get back to that tower. And almost the entire team out of SK trying to get on top of it. Deathcape also moving in. Mobsio still quite low. They can only stall, but nope. Camp has been grabbed. And they will have to deal with these Siege Giants. Ufa and Felsen not getting there quite in time, otherwise they could have sandwiched them, but Mopsio and um, Dazzle took quite a bit of damage, so it would have been risky, uh, no matter what. So let's check out their talents. Um, by the way, a lot of coins have been grabbed already on both sides, but uh, yeah, nine, 9 coins on both sides, but SK managed to turn a few in already. So let's check out the talents. Uh, we have Purge Evil on Tyrael. Shadow Shield on Elven, Heavy Slam, Ripe on Brightwing, Overload on Casimir, Deadly Strike on Shen, Frozen Tempest on uh, Frozen Waste on Arthas, Conjurer's Pursuit on Ufer, Rancor on Vela, and Bribe on Felstead. So as usual, Bright on Felstead and Brightwing. Ooh, and an early camp grab sure, uh, camp, uh, camp grab here coming in. I alternate. They got the uh, siege, uh, the knights on the top lane. It's getting late, sorry guys. And there's the first barraging coming on the mid lane. And they're doing some decent damage on that mid uh, mid lane. Uh, actually taken out the gates already, and there's a few more few more cannonballs coming in. So they might get some damage done on the fort. They won't take it out right away though. And there are the knights on their way in the bot lane. Blue Hammer's in trouble, he's being picked off here. Zarmini is on top of him, and they will get the kill here. But can Alternate possibly turn this around? Zarmini is quite low, they have the entire team coming in here as well now. But nope, SK does get away. But it uh, doesn't matter in the end, they need the team here for the, for the knights anyway, so... Not getting the... not getting the revenge kill. <laughs> but still making do by killing those knights and now they have enough coins to pay up get their first barrage going and possibly uh, get a couple coins steal as uh, yeah stolen on the on the skeletons nope not yet not yet almost even experience on both of these teams let's see how it all pays up after this first barrage on alternate side And right now they split apart half of the team, but a good hook onto Vassal. No one to follow it up. Maybe in BZ not quite in position. But it looks like Alternate will try to uh, get some damage in here on the mid lane. Now rotating towards top. Right wing um, had some trouble here to, uh, to stop this push in top, so the minions will come in and possibly even get the gate down. Or SK, they're coming in for the boss. Krolu maybe baiting a little bit there, but Oracle has been popped, so that's the signal for Alternate to get out of there and not try their gank attempt. It's not gonna work out anyway. Instead, possibly turn in a couple of coins. Felset is gonna grab this skeleton, um, these skeleton pirates and then possibly go for the seed shines. I don't know if he has bribe back up. Nope, not yet. No bribe uh, for him yet. Ooh, Arthas and uh, Arthas and Bella going straight for the boss. Uh, this is quite a bit risky. Deathscape is there. He could throw a hook if he wants to. Would be a little bit of a prediction hook, but this is uh, this is really risky by alternate. If they can make it work, it's a good move. But if they get surprised and caught out of position, they could uh, yeah they could lose their entire team in that fight. Ford is in trouble, uh, I don't think that Luffy can save it, but they did grab the boss. So making that uh, that whole ordeal worth it. And there is the grab here on the giants. Let's see, let's see what Alternate is doing now. They have a lot of coins already saved up. And oof, 11 coins on Felt that they really need to turn in. So have a look at the 1110 talents. Judgment on Tyrael, Metamorphosis on Illidan, Gorge on Stitches, 
Link heal on Brightwing, Tassel the Took Arkan, uh, Storm Wolf and Fire on Chen, Army of the Dead on Arthas, Divine Storm on Uther, uh, nothing picked for Valor and Shock on Arc. And there's the Barrage coming in in mid lane. They got the fort and they're gonna go for this fort in the bot lane as well. With the Siege Giant helping out, this could very well work out. That's the shield on the fort. And ooh, Vassal completely caught on the position. But he still has his ultimate up, and Nurma pipping her heroic doesn't help. But he does get uh, he does get ill. Then Brightwing does go down as well, and Vessel's still pretty low. But they they caught the escape and got a lot of coins with these kills as well. They will get the fort, and they will grab a lot of coins. So three for nothing. Going for the steal here on, on the giants as well. So that's four giants and a lot of heroes down right now. A lot of pressure piling on here in the bot lane. And so many coins going to, to alternate. Uh, 10, 13 coins already. So almost enough to pay up. And they sent Blue Hammer to grab the remaining coins right away. Fortunately, the pirates will spawn in just two seconds. So they will get another barrage going. And SK already down to three forts. Not doing that well in the team fights either. That was actually a really smart move, uh, grabbing the boss, get, keeping him occupied with the boss, and then going for the bot lane. Um, really good timings coming out of alternate. They really know when to grab, uh, when to grab the barrage, when to go for the camps, and um, make everything work out in the end. A little bit of a push incoming on SK's part, going for the bot lane. Already took out the gates and PKB moving straight for the fort. I think they have enough here to take out this fort. Uh, even with the knights in the back, it's gonna be enough. At the same time, alternate. Grabbing a lot of coins again. They do have enough for the next rush going. But they should probably um, yeah, they should probably hearthstone back to stop SK. Otherwise they might lose the keep if they com let this go completely uncontrolled. Uh, it does look like they want to go for a sandwich here. Oh, this is a nice position for alternate. There comes the stun and a nice shock and off follow up. And Link goes down immediately though. SK making the turnaround here. Illidan falls. Brightwind also taken out. Deathscape on the run. And they will grab him. Wow. <laughs> alternate. <laughs> really sandwiching them there. Uh, amazing move. SK just didn't have the map vision to pull this off. And now they're gonna pay up and possibly go for a push on the keep since there's still 10 second cooldown on Stitches, on Tassadar. Uh, it's gonna be close, but they're gonna grab more coins. The chests have popped. Feltset's going straight for the top chest. Bottom chest will be grabbed here by Valor and Arthas. And that gives them enough coins for the next barrage. <laughs> Already. <laughs> you want the knights have been stopped. Ooh, Zamini. Uh, uh, we have some disconnects happening right there. Uh, hopefully they'll get back into the game. I think all of the uh, players are controlled by bots right now. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, Gucci also disconnecting. I don't know exactly what's happening here. Hmm. Okay. So I think they got it with the final barrage. <laughs> Did I miss something? Let's capture that again. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sorry, fellas, I need to have a look at this again. Okay, uh, so this was closer to the end. Okay, so Barrage goes down, takes out the key. Nope, not even, not, not quite. Huh. It took out the key, but 
That was weird. Um, probably just because they're all disconnected, and then if it's all bots, then that's what happens, I guess. <laughs> I would assume. Um, I don't know what the rules are here. We have to see if it's gonna be a regame or what the heck happened. Mm. Okay, so um, I'm just getting word from Vassal that um, they forfeit the map and we'll move on to the next one. So we're going to a final game. I, that was a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, of course, Alternate did have a pretty firm grasp on that map with uh, three forts already down for SK, and the next one uh, would have uh, the next attack would have probably taken out the keep, um, and they only lost one fort. Yeah, that was a surrender. Um, yeah, I, w I was a little bit confused there. <laughs> they could have at least said something in chat beforehand. But yeah, that's that's a forfeit out of SK. So we're moving on to the third, uh, the fifth, and final game in the Arcana Heroes Cup playoffs, and. It's up for grasp. Uh, alternate coming back here, having a show, making a really strong showing in this in this fight. Yeah, they need to play in the HPL tournament, uh, which is why they wanted to uh, not risk anything. And we'll go for the final map here, which is going to be Garden of Terra. Alternate has first ban and first pick. And why is it Garden of Terror? Well, it's just rough. But didn't SK win on Garden of Terror? I think they did. But I don't know. If both teams agree, then they can play whichever map they want, I guess. <laughs> Put Gucci into our team. Alright fellas, so we're going into the final game, it's going to be on Garden of Terror, and the first ban is coming in. By alternate, it is Nova. And the ban on Abathur by SK. When will we see Abathur again? Really miss him in these fights. I want to see him slapping the core one more time, just one more time in the pro game. First pick does go to alternate. And I think they should first pick, well, they, they could first pick felt that um, they could also go for, uh, it's kind of risky, but you could go for a noob, stitches would work. Nothing coming in yet. <sighs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. Rules for map picking. Uh, you can't pick a map on which you already won. So I think they might have to choose a different map since they won on Garden of Terror. I think SK won on Garden of Terror. Score is currently 2 2 since uh, SK did forfeit the match on Blackheart's Bay. Haunted Mines! 
just to make the game faster. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so it's gonna be played out on Haunted Mines now. And this is gonna be a quick one. So get excited for this last match. And if you enjoy the casting, or uh, if you want to enjoy the uh, coming upcoming cast, which will happen soon, um, there's always something something happening. Um, I'm of course also casting the HBL, probably casting the HBL uh, finals tomorrow night, starting at um, 9 p.m. Uh, Central European time. So. Um, you can also follow uh, the HPL semifinals which are going on and I'll probably tune in for a couple of minutes at least later on to check what's happening there. Uh, SK will also play in the HPL semifinals so if you are fan SK fans then you should check it out. Um, yeah, so if you want to be notified when I'm casting next uh, make sure to uh, follow here and get Twitch now for Chrome. That actually gives you a pop-up when, when streams are going online. And you can also just follow me on Facebook and Twitter and get notified there. Alright, fellas, so, um... Wait, I think I'm the only one in this mode. That sucks. Okay. Do we have everyone in here? Looks like it. And have they started draft? Time devoted to advertising. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, fuck! I wanted to do a giveaway. We have, like, no time left. I'll do a giveaway, giveaway right away. Okay. Fellas, we're doing a giveaway right now. Um, okay. Um, boop, 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 boop. Everyone can participate. Just type raffle in the chat typing raffle in the chat and I'm giving away copies um, I'm giving away one copy of teleglitch and uh, yeah we'll see maybe I'll, I'll give away two two games um, one copy of teleglitch and possibly um, one copy of gift uh, no wait risk of rain on Steam So if, we, if you want to win some games, and by the way, you guys are also have already. Ugh, gosh, it's it's way too late. I'm sorry for that. Um, you guys have also already started uh, collecting coins. So um, you collect G's, which is my um, fictional currency for um, just being active in chat, uh, talking in chat, and yeah, just watching the stream. So that's what's happening. Um, okay, I did want to put out a tweet for the final game, so let's do that. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Okay, now we can talk about the bans. Um, it's a ban on Tychus, this map. Okay, that's interesting. And BKB, so SK banning Abathur. So maybe you guys were right. Oh, a lot of people want to participate in the raffle. That's good. So don't forget to remind me um, after the game to actually end the raffle. Otherwise, I might forget. <laughs> okay, so we got the first picks incoming. It's Stitches on alternate side. 
Then Uther and Arthas by SK. Bouts that and Nova on alternate side. And a noob on SK side. Now next band is Valor, surprisingly uh, on alternate. But I guess since Curse, uh, since Haunted Mines is such a fast map and Valor is so strong early on, it makes sense to ban her if you can. Um, okay, let's see what else do we have here. Ban Turiel by SK. And the next picks Illidan and Tesla by SK and Rhaegar, uh, and Rhaegar on alternate side Rainer on SK side okay I have to let this one sink in Ooh. Zarmini left, other than that, they're good to go. <laughs> I think they're good to go. Okay, um, let's check out uh, SK's lineup. Uther, Arthas, Anub, Hasadar, and Reyna. So um, that's good. a good uh, early game composition. Then we have Stitches, Falstad, Nova, Illidan, and Rhaegar on alternate. Oh, if they go for if they go for Bloodlust, that's also pretty strong. But I mean that no, they're probably gonna go for ancestral healing. It's uh, it's too risky otherwise. And I think they're ready. Yeah, we're loading into the game. Has Dingo, isn't that what um isn't that what the the shaman says in, in Warcraft 3? As Dingo? Or is it Jazz Dingo? Hmm. Something like that. Alright fellas, get hyped! Get psyched for the last game for tonight, the Arcana Heroes Cup final between SK and Alternate. Current score is two for two. And we're going into the final game here on Haunted Mines. I can't really tell who's who's going to take it by just looking at the draft. Um, again, Alternate is playing it a little bit more risky, but they've shown time and time again that uh, these risky moves have paid off for them. So let's see if they can make it work one last time here on Haunted Mines. They are the blue team on the left side of the map, and they have Mopsy on Stitches, Vassal on Illidan, Rolu on Rhaegar. We have Felstead on Guccio and Gluehammer is playing Nova. Their opponents on the right side here on Haunted Mines in the red trunks. They are SK Gaming and they have Deathscape on Arthas, BZ playing Tesla, Zarmni playing Raynor, BKB playing Anubarak and single, singled out linked on Uther. So let's check it out. We always have these huge uh, team gang squads on Haunted Mines early on. Uh, who can get the first kill? I mean, with BKB, uh, they have a solid stun that uh, could be incoming here, but Mopsio also, um, you can't count him out. There's the stun, but grabbing all the minions instead. Oh, and everyone's just piling up on top. Krolu gets caught out. Link also also in the middle of everything there. Two kills already bo on both teams. Stitches goes down now. And Vassal in trouble, but you know, he dashes behind the wall. And they will go for a little bit more pressure here on this bot lane. Meanwhile, Arthas and Falset are duking it out in the top lane. So let's check out the talents. Shadow Shield on Illidan. 
so keeping him that shield after the evasion. Uh, healing Totem on Rhaegar, Ambush Snipe on Nova, Heavy Slam on Stitches and Updraft on Feldstad. A little bit defensively on Alternate's side, considering they have the three Assassins, that does make sense. Then uh, Extended Spikes on Anubarak, Overload on Tassadar, Frozen Waste on Arthas, and then Swainstone on Uther, give me more by Raynor. And there we go, next team fight. He can be caught out of position, but nope, they can't jump on top of him. Blue Hammer got there a little bit too late. But the mines will open in a couple of seconds, which means uh, Alternate will move into the bottom part of the map here. And let's see. Yep, they're ready on top as well. Oh, BKB got in there a little bit too early. Additionally, on a lot of damage on him. Gasol was being stunned, so BKB could get out of there. Arthas with a nice slow on Krolu, but can he run away? It does look like it. And now it's SK who got in here first. And Stitches and Faults said they need to watch out. They grab a couple of skulls up there, but they're in trouble. SK is on the on the hunt, and Mopsio getting slowed and stunned in the follow-up. Take him out. This is gonna spell doom for alternate. They shouldn't overextend when going down in the mines. And oh, Vassal! Quite a risky move. He wanted to go for Deathcape, but all by himself, that's not gonna be worth it. Instead, alternate might be able to grab a couple of skulls, but it's not gonna be all that much. I think this first golem will go to SK. But they, they make it worth it a little bit more. Uh, Krolu just trying to dash in, see what they're doing. Maybe they can get on top of him. Oh, Beezy actually porting out. And Descape in trouble. It's only Descape and Zarmony right there. And there comes the hook on Descape. Ooh, can they get the kill here? Yes, they will. No! He can't stay away, but Vassal is in, po in position. He can stop him. And that's a nice turnaround for Alternate. They will go for the Golem now. Everyone is getting in position. And doesn't look like SK wants to go straight again into the mines, but maybe they'll try. They're gonna wait and instead grab the knights in the middle of the map. Um, it's a good last resort if you want to make something happen. And get the best out of the situation where they lost out on so many skulls. 78 uh, skulls on the, um, on the alternate golem. That's a really strong golem. Now let's check out these additional talents. Emulation on Illidan, Chain Reaction, Gathering Power on Nova, Putrid Gun, so Stitch is going for the slam build, Gathering Power on Felstad, Under King on Nubarak, Killing Ward, Tesla, Invenom on Arthas, Protective Shield on Uther, and the Advanced Optics on Nova. And yeah, there we go. Alternate is pushing with their Golem. And I'll just let the defense sit. They have they have the giants in the bot lane to deal with the golem. Possibly do a little bit of damage onto him. But no. Instead just going for the push in top here. And good for SK that they got the siege giants in here. Those deal uh, some more damage on the uh, on the boss here. And that does help out quite a bit. So far, no one really finding any engagement opportunities. Level 7 almost in there for SK. The boss getting really close to the fort. Maybe catching a snipe there. And Zarmany moving in. And he's taken a lot of damage, but the line stun coming out of the noob really saving Zarmany in there. But now they can just dish away and do the damage on the fort. And they will grab that fort. Ah. Papsio missing his hook there by an inch. But they did grab the fort and the boss is still alive, so can, they can pile on the pressure. And they will go down now to uh, stop the siege giants. That did quite a bit of damage here on their bot lane. Um, and possibly do some more damage here on, uh, on this fort as well. The slow does come in, but we have the entire team out of alternating position while SK not quite getting there. SK getting a lot of hits in. 
blink also quite low already. Mopsu is being kept alive here by Rhaegar. He's doing a good job, but nope. There he is, taken out. And BKB just sitting on top of everyone there. Zamini is quite low, but SK already retreating back. They did take out Stitches out of the fight. And they will keep their fort alive for now. But they are all pretty low. Fortunately for them, Alternate did lose their initiators. So without Stitches, it's pretty hard to um, pick anyone off here. And they won't go in without the additional minions. And even then, it's a little bit risky to go for this fort right away. But BZ looks like he's porting out. I uh, still think about it. Nope. He is porting out. The fort is pretty low, though. But they don't want to overextend. Now Stitches has joined the fight again. Ah, oh, misses his hook. And has, uh, Uther also left the fight. There comes the shield on the fort. It's gonna stay alive for a little bit longer. And Mopsio. Takes a lot of damage and is taken out by Deathscape. Zamini quite low as well, but he's being shielded and Illidan falls. SK making the best out of this team fight and turning around quite a bit. Muhammad taking a lot of damage as well. There comes the stun and another hit here by Zarmini and they take out Nova as well. Krolu is in trouble there as well. Uh, can Guccio save him somehow? Nope. There comes another stun and Krolu not quite getting the ancestral healing, uh, get, getting the healing in in time. And with that, SK has complete control of the mines. They will go for a lot of scalds. Three more, three more seconds until the uh, scalds arrive. And that's it. They can just divide up, grab all the scalds they can. Oh, Link is in a little bit of trouble. Mops is in position. But BZ is just waiting down there. And they still have a lot of players down here. So, Basil and Mops, you need to watch out. They're being joined by the remainder of alternate and they take out Uther. Nice pick up there. That's one of those issues you really need to watch the death timer, otherwise you might run, uh, run into problems down in the mines if you split up. But nevertheless, 46 stalls on SK's part and they got Rhaegar. Rhaegar was probably caught out here uh, whilst, while entering the mines. Now 46 skulls on both teams, so we're gonna look at a defensive boss run soon. I think the remaining skulls will probably go to uh, alternate. And it does like it, but almost 50-50 on the skulls, so I think both alternate and SK will defend. And we have some time to check out their talents. We have Metamorphosis on Illidan, Ancestral Healing on Rhaegar, Nova took Precision Strike, Gorge on Stitches, Shocken on Feldstad, uh, Locust Swarm on Anubarak, Tested on with the Archon, Army of the Dead on Arthas, Ufer with Divine Storm, and the Raiders on Raynor. So nothing surprising. And will they get the Knights? It does look like they can grab the neutral Knights here. But then afterwards going straight for the defense, going straight for that uh, boss that's just hitting away at their bottom lane. But they still have four forts up, so they're in a good position, and their boss is a little bit stronger, and it's also wailing away at this wall. Not gonna take the wall out quite in time, since SK was already in position, but they also have the knights that they need to worry about, so uh, those will be coming in here any second. And SK has to, has to play defensively one more time, and that's actually a good position for alternate. Maybe they can make something happen with their knights and the siege giants in the back. Fort is already pretty low. That would be two forts for them. They still have all their forts up. So this is a pretty strong push for alternate. There's the hook, but missing. Missing so far. BKB with a good stun getting Vassal and Guccio, and there he goes with a deep dive. Oh, singling out Vassal. There comes the ancestral healing of Vassal, keeping him alive. BKB quite low. He will be taken out. And is the first one to fall here. Link also quite low. BZ being pulled back and taken out. And, and this fort will fall for sure. They just take it out <laughs> on the side there. Uh, the escape turning around, doing some more damage on Vassal. But Raynor is taken out. Link will jump over the wall and be safe. But oh, the pull on Arthas. And they do get him. What an amazing blow here by Alternate. Really making short process of this fort. And now just piling on the damage here. Uh, they might even get this key. It's 10 second cooldown on Raynor and 14 seconds on Arthas. Um, probably 
probably a little bit too close, but they still have um, still have the siege shrines. So just gonna leave the siege shrines there and go back, uh, go back, heal back up, and deal with the siege shrines in top lane. They still have all their forts available, so um, that's a really good position to be in. Two level advantage. Uh, that's not something you see every day, but it does happen on Haunted Mines quite a bit. Um, and you can see how that works out if you keep your forts alive and instead, um, even if you don't have that really strong golem, just go ahead and uh, take the neutral knights and have those supplemented with the siege shrines. They just uh, do so much damage uh, if, you f if you help them out in one of those lanes. And there we go. Both teams going back into the mines. Alternate staying together as a team. They might be able, might be able to single off uh, someone else here. Oh, missing. Oh, and a good stun out of BKB. Escape comes in from the right side. There's the shotgun off, doing a lot of damage on him. But Guchu needs to get out. Took, already took a lot of damage. There's the ancestral healing on Guchu, keeping him back alive. Goru stays out of the fight. Good job so far. Mopsio still staying in there. Vassal took a lot of damage. They didn't get anyone down. Vassal is really in trouble, but Stitches is the first one to fall. They take out the looper rack on the other side. Blue Hammer really low, but she does get out. Alternate is on the run though. Vassal is really low. Prolu also quite low. And Prolu and Blue Hammer do get away. Vassal. Um, I think uh, Vassal was also uh, still alive. So a uh, two for two. Ooh, Blue Hammer has been spotted. There comes the Oracle, and the first hit. Arthas with the slow. Can he get there? Looks like he can. Oh, Krolu needs to help him out. Maybe they can even get Escape. No, oh, BZ coming in to help. Guccio coming from the back. Link is in trouble. He's taken out, and now they should get away again. Oh, there's a stun, and they do get Krolu. Blue Hammer really relying on her stealth, which uh, is not that good for uh, for pro players, since they do spot her out, they do spot that little glimmer, and Gucci also picked off here. So SK will have a good time just uh, grabbing more and more skulls. Oh, even getting Mopsio here caught out in the mines, and he has no chance to survive this. And now, oh, Vassal moving in a little bit too late, but he does get Tacita, but there comes the stun. And the Raiders being popped, and they do grab Illidan. So a little bit of a back and forth. 16 kills by SK, only 10 kills by Alternate, and they will grab this next. Uh, they will grab this next boss here. Grab a lot of skulls, and that's um, that's not too shabby. Blue Hammer might. Be oh, nice stuff! Dodging the spikes, but Link is on her back. And yeah, she will be picked off as well. So that's 17 kills for SK and a really strong golem. Um, pretty weak one on alternate side, only 30 skulls. Um, so they really overextended in the mines. Um, they shouldn't have stayed in there. Going for that additional kill and then losing three heroes um, in the process was not at all worth it. But they're in a good position to defend now. and. Almost everyone is back up. Novas has a 10 second cooldown, so she's gonna be here any second as well. And they are still a level ahead, though barely. So let's check out their level 16 talents. We have Blood for Blood on Illusion, Rega, and Nova. The slam, uh, Pulverize, Enhancement, their um, Stitches, and Overdrive on Talstan. Iron Focus coming in for Uther. Stone skin for Arthas, uh, Dimensional Warp on Tesla, and of course Rewind on Anubarak. And Bullseye for Reyna. So they want to get a little bit more CC in. Which is good on SK's part. They've been doing quite well uh, in these last team fights, but I think that was mostly uh, due to mistakes on Alternate's part. And now, again, wailing away at the towers. Golem will move into the bot lane. And let's see what SK is doing. Will they switch? Will they switch lanes? Nope, they're just gonna grab the Siege Giants. And the boss does go down. But which means they can rotate up and get the kill here on this fort as well. This is gonna even out, uh, even everything out on the forts. And since they did get those uh, amazing kills in the, in the mines, that means there's so many kills ahead and that 
they get additional additional experience in. So there's the level advantage for SK coming in. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, mercenaries wailing away at the wall. It's gonna fall in no time. Alternate is being driven back here. We need to take out the Sea Giants. Ooh, Mopsio missing his hook. Sea Giants are gone, and with that, SK is on the retreat. But BK, BKB, they're thinking, they're thinking of moving back in. And there's the hook on BKB, but no follow up stun, and Death Cape is in there. Mopsio taking a lot of damage, and the shotgun R on BKB, he's quite low already. Successful healing comes in on Mopsio, keeping him alive, but Illidan already down. Stitch is going down as well, Guccio quite low, and ah, missing the slow, can Glue Hammer get back away? Yep, looks like he can save himself, and Guccio also stays alive, but that's the entire team of SK moving towards that keep. Only 3 heroes left alive and 20 seconds on the cooldown for alternate, looks quite grim for them right now, they need, need to make something happen, they need Stitches in here, otherwise they won't be able to pick someone off, but SK? They're playing it safe, they're going back into the mines, they're gonna wait for their next golem and not go for the final blow here. Good move on their part, um, still having the cooldown available on Stitches, uh, but it was so close, they um, they could have risked it all here, but instead, it's playing it safe. Alright, so SK is moving in top. Alternate going in bottom. Nova's already in position and Guccio's joining her. They can't make those same mistakes again. They need to stay together and not overextend in the mines. This has been their strength before, but they, I don't know, they kind of let it go in that previous mine, um, mine run. And porting back. Oh, that's it. The back door by SK. They're going straight for the core. Shields are down. There's the offensive strike and Illidan moving in on Zarmini. He's doing a lot of damage, but the core is down to 70%. Zarmini is taken out. Link also quite low. BKB also quite low. Oh, I don't, I'm afraid they're not going to get the core. And they're going to get the complete team wipe. Deathcape going down as well. BZ quite low. They will get him as well. And this could be the turnaround. Wow, one more time. Alternate has a chance to win this game. What are they going for? Are they going for the mines or are they going for the counter run? I think they're gonna go in the mines and play it safe. SK just tricked them. But they made it work. SK overextending on the core. And now they will have a really strong golem. Uh, could even be a hundred, a hundred skull golem. Yep. Uh, they're gonna wail away individually, they know the uh, timers are still up. Luckily luckily enough for them, they got them before level 20. So that's that's one of those issues that can appear on Haunted Mines, since you do get these uh, backdoor attempts that happen before they hit level 20. So there is that possibility of turning everything around if when, when the entire team is gone. There comes the port back, but they still need to watch out. I mean, 20% on the core, that's uh, that's not that much. Shields are coming back up, but the shield is not even at uh, 50%, so they do need to watch out for any backdoor camps. BKB going for the capture, Vassal moves in, not popping his roll quite yet, but BKB already took a lot of damage there, and he's moving in one more time. Blue Hammer taking a lot of damage as well, there comes the Orbital Strike, Zamini quite low, Anubarak goes down, BZ tries to get out of the fight, and Chromu jumps in there, and now Vassal popping his heroic. Rega does go down, and Uther also taken out. Now Illidan falls. Easy, quite low. Guccio needs to stay in this fight. Mopsio taken out. Stitches falls. And Tassada also falling on the opposing team. One against two. No uh, no resurgence for out of anyone yet. Can Gluehammer stop them from wailing away at the core? This is the most crucial thing. Oh, can she take out Reyna? Looks like it. If she takes out Reyna, this might save her, but she's taken out. And now, Arfis, the only one left, but they did have the Golem. They did capture the Golem. It's gonna go straight for the core. Still 10 seconds before Nuberak gets there. Oh, this might be their saving grace. Getting the Golem before dying in a team fight. There's the Nuberak. And they're gonna wail away at the boss. It's gonna do a little bit of damage at the core. Um, shields are almost down, yep. So, 
this was their saving grace. Um, first players out of out of uh, alternate are returning into the game. Three seconds on stitches, twenty seconds on Nova. Or it will go down a little bit more, maybe down to fifty percent. So that does even things out quite a bit, and now alternate can go for the knights if they want to. We are blessed by the light. But maybe they want to support their golem. I don't know if that's the right idea, but going for the knights and possibly siege giants, that is a good idea. Top keep is gone for both teams. And well, I think they they want to try something else here. I think they want to go for um, go for team wipe. Oh, BZ with a perfect oracle. Revealing the entire team of alternate So that's not gonna work out and now they kind of gave away uh, the, the chance to grab those knights safely Nevertheless going for it Mopsio is deep down in there. He's taking a lot of damage There comes the shotgun off and Mopsio he is gonna go for the core straight away And I think they have enough damage in here to make it happen alternate is gonna take it 3 to 2 and they win against SK Gaming in an amazing series here in the Arcana Heroes Cup number 1 playoffs. I'm G-Shock and I'm fucking blown away. <laughs> this was amazing. Uh, wow, grab grabbing that C 